the Lord bless you. <clears throat> May the Lord lift you in this season. May you not be left out in this season of his blessings. I pray that let his word remind you of the victory that it has been promised to you in this season. This word has no fear to instill in you, but rather to bring you to the place of dominion, the place of victory, to give you the consciousness of victory. And I pray that you receive this word in good faith and trust that you will manifest above every plan of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. You see, some people will not like me to be consistently praying for you. But I have to keep pushing. Whether the atmosphere is good or open or not, I just have to break. <clears throat> I have to break ranks and break protocols to make sure I bring a word of prayer to you. And my prayer is that you receive it in good faith. And in everything you should stay appreciative to God that that he permits that at a certain time a word can come forth and a prayer can be made and I believe by the special grace of God that everything we're experiencing right now there's going to be there's going to be a change over a lot of things and those who seem to try to intimidate you try to suppress you don't realize that the Lord is changing yeah, Biro, God bless you. Biro, God bless you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Jonathan Johnson, you're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. So in the midst of everything, in the midst of everything, I just keep have to come forward with the word trust God, believe and trust that his word will be made manifest God bless you welcome, God bless you in the name of Jesus I love you too God bless you so there are a lot of things that you see there are different laws in the spirit when you see people consistently attacking some particular people you see, they want they are they are trying to bring you under their law, but when you hold on to the law of the spirit, the laws of God. When I talk about the principles of God, are like laws, but in human term, in a term of what layman can understand, we must operate with them as principles. People have their principles that they try to set in order for them to have a very peaceful home, so they try not to get to phones to their bedroom so that. They and their spouse can. That is just a principle of a family. A government from somewhere does not um, put an eye on it. But, but a law will have a lot of weaknesses and law enforcement system. But in a family where we work with principles, principles can be initiated by a person for the pers for personal success. And by the special grace of God, I came with a word because I believe that by the grace of God, this season, there are certain protocols that must be broken for someone's victory to be made manifest. I believe by the grace of God. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. I believe you will meet... <laughs> A beautiful African one day, a beautiful African woman. Yes, I believe. God bless you. <laughs> yeah, they are they are beautiful women everywhere. I I believe. Yeah, I believe they are beautiful women everywhere. So by the special grace of God, there are many things, there are many battles that sometimes one has to go through to be able to be consistent. That is why some people don't understand why they are not consistent in some particular things. It is because there are diverse principles that can make you to be consistent. Victory to be consistent, your victory must be consistent. You have to also be consistent in your approach to many things. That is what brings you to a place of victory. So 
what sometimes there are powers that don't um, um they are not comfortable with the fact that someone is interceding for you so before they want to get you they try to stop the person from interceding because the prayers are affecting them so much that so badly that they don't have the capacity to do a full launch of attack so that is what happened so the enemy becomes upset be upset because there is an intercession team somewhere that is interceding on behalf of a particular person and so because of that the word begins to manifest is that the enemy begins to fight back and that is why it is important for you to pray for that person who is your coach or maybe your mentor, your spiritual father. It is very important to pray for that person. It's important to put that person to in your prayers. Because one thing is for clear, one thing is very sure. When the enemy realized that he had been casted out of where he used to be, the enemy is not happy. So the enemy tries to, to affect the relationship between you and the person who is interceding for you so the person will stop interceding or you'll be disconnected from such connection because the enemy understand the power of that prayer yes the power of that prayer we pray for you in the mighty name of jesus may the lord may the lord grant you healing may the lord grant you healing in the name of jesus may the lord grant you healing in the name of jesus from the crown of earth to the soles of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Yes, may the Lord grant you healing in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord grant you healing in the name of Jesus. Kala bashanta koza brata bosata, jakwaka pariata bosate libra dosata. Father Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Kala bashanta. Every strange attack, I come against it. Every strange attack every strange powers that has been attacking you every strange powers that have been attacking you every strange force strange woman who is fighting your life any woman responsible for the battles you've been experiencing i stand against that force i stand against that person i stand against that army of darkness in the name of jesus Wherever they con wherever they attack from, wherever the attacks are launched from, I declare, let their meetings be dissolved with fire. Let fire dissolve their meetings. Let fire dissolve their meetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Let fire dissolve that meeting in the name, that evil meeting in the name of Jesus. Let fire dissolve every evil manipulated meeting that is held against your success that is held against your success in the mighty name of jesus the time has come for you to experience the blessings in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, I wish for war, a war of fire, I wish war against them wherever they are. I wish war. It is time for warfare in the name of Jesus. God is vindicating you and your children. God is vindicating you and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone who has consulted to, to stand against you, I speak this minute, their powers expire, their charms are failing. Their charms are failing in the name of Jesus. I declare in this season of your life, you are set free in the name of Jesus. I pray for divine protection over your life, over your loved ones, over your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, offense will not take a better part of you. You will not be so upset that you don't want to take care of anything that concerns you again. You will not give up on yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not give up on your walk with God in the name of Jesus. I speak against every sickness on you. I come against that sickness on you right now. I speak against that, that sickness that has been on you. I come against the force of that sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. They 
they shall be no loss. They shall be no loss in the mighty name of Jesus. La cosa brande cariato men la quada basate. Jabaruete plente cuta basanta. Jacuaca paruete plenti caba abarata boshate. Jabaruete plento asate galatro sada. Jacuaca paruete plenti cabaruete plete. Zatua saminta brande cariata boshate. Jacua capello adraba sanigaba. Il perua sade jabaria to men zadisa proto. Liqua appendi gida brande cariata boshata. I paruata bante kete. Breku batei, mante kete breku bata, zakwa kaperuaza, jaruaza deka baruete mentuaza diga, mente kete breku bariato epedisa brata, jakwa kaparuete blenti kaba aruateza, netsubani kabaruete bletus. Il a quoi qu'a perroi zacté et bédou sa prata. Jacques a paroué te blente et kaba. Every strange woman fighting your life, fighting your finances, fighting your resources. Any woman who is trying to connect to a former battle of a man who used to be, whom they used to be in their life, whom you are connected to, I speak in the name of Jesus. Any strange woman who is connected, who is trying to connect concerning you about a person whom you used to be connected to, to fight your life, I speak in the name of Jesus. You, are con you, are, you have been disconnected from such people and they have no power over you in the name of, in the name of Jesus. Kalaba Shanta Kubarata. Anyone who is going back to former places where you used to be to extract information to fight your life, I stand against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle that has that the enemy is trying to initiate and to engage over you, it shall not rise, it shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Kalabate Kuriata Basata Jacwa Kaparuete Plente Kuza Brata Bendra Libra do Sate Jacwa Kapendra Lakwa Kaperwa Zante Ebedwa Sabrata Bantekia Lekuta Basa Brante Kariato Bentira Bosata Jacwa Kaperwa Zante Ebedu Sabrata Lekwata Basante La Crosate Jabarwe te blende ke te breko bata Jabari ya te men zabia Ele toba santa kuza brata bashata La kwa kaparu wa tabasata Those who are trying to reconnect back with your former place of work Who are trying to reconnect back with your former relationship To fight your life, to fight against you I speak in the mighty name of Jesus There is a woman here, the Lord is vindicating you you are being vindicated from the power, from ancient powers of a certain man that used to be there. But for some reason, strange women came against that person and decided to render that person useless. And they are trying to attack you at the same time. I speak this minute, you are vindicated in the name of Jesus. Anyone trying to use manipulated charms to hinder the progress of your own life, it will not stand in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I speak to that to this person listening to me right now. I come against that spirit of procrastination that they have casted upon you. That spirit of procrastination, I reject it. It will not stand in your life. That force of procrastination, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Anybody who is standing by envy to render to render you useless. I cancel it, I reject it. It shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. Mantekuta brade kariata basata likwa kaparuata bashate le parwete bente kete breko bata from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet you will not be tired now in the mighty name of Jesus that body weakness you have been experiencing that body weakness you have been experiencing that dizziness you have been feeling for the past for the past few days that thing that when it comes upon you 
it comes the burden of headache and you're having a headache and your entire body is full of, of weakness. You are just being weak and you can't tell what is happening and it seems like you have to pray for strength. I, I get to, I involve myself in that matter and I said it is time for you to be vindicated. Where the tide you are untied you. Where the tide you I lose you. Where the tide you I declare you are loose. You are loose in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are set free in the mighty name of Jesus. You are set free in the name of Jesus. There is a lady, I'm seeing you, you are a health personnel. I'm seeing you are a health personnel. But there are a lot of battles over your life. You are you are health. I'm seeing you in the aspect of health. I'm seeing something about practice about health. But as I'm speaking to you right now, the Lord is vindicated you. The Lord is vindicating you. Your time and your season has come for you to be set free, for you to be free from unknown forces that have been fighting you. Unknown battles, strange battles. There is somebody connected right here. I pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That woman that is trying to fight your life. There is a woman here, the Lord is vindicating you. A, 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 certain, a certain man showed to you a woman that is, as, that is his sister, whereas it is another woman that he has an affair with. But the Lord is vindicating you because you will not waste your time in a place you should not be. The Lord is vindicating you. The Lord is setting you free. You will be able to make a tangible decision. There is somebody listening to me right now. Yes, there is somebody listen to me right now. The Lord is setting you free. In the mighty name of Jesus, you play the rule of a fool, but you are not a fool. You played but the rule of a fool. You are not a fool. You are playing the rule of a fool to bring to the knowledge of the person who thinks you are a fool to see where their end game will result. And I'm here to tell you that God is vindicating you in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are being vindicated in the mighty name of Jesus. You are vindicated in the name of Jesus. You are vindicated in the name of Jesus. You are vindicated in the name of Jesus. Every form of envy, every form of wickedness. They will not succeed over you. They will not succeed over you. That factor of a person that wants to keep you stagnant and rejecting the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be fighting an empty battle. You will not be sitting where you are not making progress in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak divine protection over your sisters. I speak divine protection over your brother. I pray for divine protection over your son. I pray for divine protection over your daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus, the time has come for you to be set free. The Lord is fighting your battle and victory shall be made manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they call your name, and they said your children will not prosper. I am here to tell you that child is rising as a king. That child is rising as a queen. In the mighty name of Jesus, what fought others will not stop that child. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nala koza bradis. Jacqua kapele rubadisa brataba. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over your life that in this time of your life you will, you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I see victory manifesting. Victory shall be made manifest. Victory shall be made manifest. Every power of darkness, every wicked force that is trying to torment you, I come against in the name of Jesus. That strange woman that is trying to torment you in the mighty name of Jesus. I reject that attack. I cancel it. I speak over your life.
Your case is urgent. And I see urgent intervention. I see an urgent intervention. Urgent divine intervention. Kalaba Santa Cosa Bratabo Shata. Likwaka Pariata Basata. Mante Quata Pradekariata. Jabaria Tonen Zatua Epedusa. Likwa Aperua Zate Gaba. Tequaka Parwata Bashata. No weapon from the gates you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. That affliction they are trying to lay on you. I counsel in the name of Jesus. That attack will not stand. That affliction is dissolved. Let that affliction dissolve. Let that affliction dissolve. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kalaba Sante Koza Brataba. Le Parwasa Te Jabatwa. Menkulatra Baza di Epeduso. Jacqua Caparue te blete Razote Basanta. Mm. Yes, God is vindicating you. God is vindicating you. God is vindicating you. God is vindicating you. There is somebody, God is giving resources to you in this season because you made your request specific. You have made your, your request specific. God is giving you more than what you ask for. Yes. God is giving you more than what you ask for. Yes. If somebody, your money is being released unto you. Your money is being released unto you. Your money is coming to you. Your money is coming back to you. Your money is coming back to you. Yes. You are, you are somebody who used to handle money a lot. But for some reason, you cannot just tell what happened. When money wants to come, it just seems like it passes. It's as if there is there are some holes in your hands. It seems like there are holes in your hands. Money comes and then it just passes. You have not really been understanding what is happening. But as I'm speaking unto you right now, I saw divine intervention. And I saw you being replenished back. There is somebody used to have a lot of favor. You used to have a lot of favor. But all of a sudden, you started experiencing that things became very, very tight. Things became very tight. You were some. You were. You were this. You were someone who people would bless you at every given point, and then you don't have to explain yourself too much for what you want to do with money, and money will always come. But for some reason, it seemed like you cannot really tell what really happened. Yes, you cannot really tell what really happened. But I see God is restoring you by covenant. God is restoring you by covenant. I want to show you three kinds of people that the enemy can never win them. There are three kinds of persons that the enemy can never win them. Yes. The enemy cannot win these three sets of people I'm about to show you right now. And I pray that you jot this down and take it very serious. The enemy, no matter where they swallow their witchcraft from, whether they burn the witchcraft in money or they were initiated, they don't have power enough to defeat these three sets of people. Please like the video. Yes, hit the like button. Hit the like button of this video. Hit the like button of this video. Yes, let me reveal something to you, somebody. I want to reveal something to you. It's more like a mystery. From today, after you hear these things, you'll realize that there is a degree of peace that has just been restored back to you. There's a degree of peace that will just be restored back to you. You see, I take my time to explain things because I understand the power of the things I say. And the ultras, my ultras are guided by God. The first category on the list, the first category of the list, that the enemy cannot defeat. It's not about those who pay tight more. It's about the person who has not given up on God. The enemy cannot win such a person. Yes. And the second category of person, it's a person whom God has not given up on. A person God has not given up on. Be careful. The enemy cannot win that person. And such a person must mind their speech. Because the enemy sometimes wants you to use your word against yourself. Because the enemy knows that it is impossible to, to cripple you. To bring you down on your knees. It is hard. And the third category, it's a person who has covenant with God. Or someone God has, God has a covenant with. These three sets of people, I didn't mention anointing. 
I didn't say somebody who is more anointed. I didn't say somebody who prays more. I mentioned these three categories. Someone who has not given up on God. And someone God has not given up on. And the third, it is someone whom God has a covenant with. If God makes a covenant with you, there are blessings you don't pray for, you find them. They come to you because they come by covenant. It means that even when you feel like giving up, covenant is what binds you back together. And somebody who has a covenant with God, there are different ways they win. There are people, there is why some people cannot go broke. And they cannot, no matter the crisis, and no matter the battle, no matter the famine in the land, like it is written in Genesis, where there was famine in the days of Isaac, and he wanted to go down to Egypt like his father, Abraham. God appeared to him in a dream. He said, sow in the land, and you will reap. You see, and then God appeared to Isaac in a dream and told him not to go down to Egypt, not to make the same mistake. That was covenant. That was restricting Isaac because Isaac was a seed of covenant. Isaac was a seed of covenant. He has been on the altar before for sacrifice. There are people who have covenants with God. So they act by covenant. They don't act by public opinion. And that is why their work is inspired by their covenant. Yes. And that is why there are certain persons that it is impossible. Job said, I have hidden your word in my heart. Your word have I hid in my heart. Yes. You see, that is why you don't give up. Let me tell you something. There's a dimension of glory that is upon your life. That when you walk in the principles of the Father, by the reason of your obedience, there is a manifestation. And that is why, by the reason of covenant, there are times where you may feel like you have to give up. But because of covenant, you will refuse to give up. And that is why, when they come after you, the enemy was the one who revealed that why would a man like Job not prosper when you have surrounded him with an edge of fire? Job was surrounded with an edge of fire. And the enemy knew. The enemy knows about the fire because the enemy has made several attempts. Yes. When the enemy says that your security system is strong, it is because they have tried to invade your privacy. They have tried to invade. They have tried to invade your, your, your warehouse. So when they begin to talk about your security being a very tight security, it is because they understand that they have tried to make an attempt to invade that system and it could not work. So the enemy has attempted in several occasions wanting to bring down Job, but it did not work. I said something the other day. I said this, the serpent is helpless without the help of a person in the garden to assist him to have access to the garden. Yes. The enemy will not destroy any home if the parties of that home does not give room for the enemy. The devil with all his power, he is helpless to attack a home if the, if the partner or the inhabitants of that place does not give room for the enemy. Yes. Yes. It takes somebody from within, it takes someone from within to tell those from outside that there is so-so and so treasures in this place. It takes an informer from within to inform the outsiders that there are treasures in that place. Yes. 
There are people who have diverse covenants. Yes. There are people who have covenants and they are walking and they are living by certain principles. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will find a stand in this season and you will overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every wicked powers, every wicked one who is fighting you in this season, I pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for divine peace. I pray for divine restoration. May you be restored. Let your vision, let your sight be restored again. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will not just be said that you were born with greatness. That greatness will be seen by the men and the women of your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for blessings over your life. I pray for divine increase. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. So understand these principles and hold on to God's word. Understand these things. These are not things you neglect them. Yes. Yes. That is why even when you feel tired, you remember that there is a covenant you are living for. Yes. You don't pray not to fail. No, there's a covenant that forbids you from failing. There's a covenant that forbids you from failing. You are a covenant child of blessing. Abraham's blessings are mine. Yes. For you to walk in that dimension of that blessing, you must align like a child of Abraham. You must put yourself together. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the, may the hand of God be made manifest over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for divine peace over your life. Kalabashanta koza bratabosa. Mashabariatabasata. Every strange powers trying to fight and trying to bring you down. It will not happen. Kalabashanta koza bratabosate. Liproza viga bosata. Japariata bosate. Likwaka pariata bosata. Jekula trabaza di epedusa brata. Le parada bosate. Jetoba sante kete breko bate. Mante koza brade kariata bosata. Jakwaka pariata men zadisa prata bosha. Le koda basante kete breko bata. Likwa gariata bosata. Men subra de kariata bosha. Jakwaka pariata men zadi epedisa broto. Le kwaka pariata basate. Jabariata basata pariata bosata. I stand this minute that any hand stretch over you as an attack, any hand stretching forth an attack over you, I command that hand to wither. And I declare, let the attacks misfire on their back. Let the arrow be reversed back to sender. Let it be reversed back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ezadiga baria tabanta, likwa ka paria tabo shate, jakwa ka paria to men zadi epedu sabrata, lakwa ka perwa tabasata, ilibrado sata, ma ka baria tabo sata. We pray for those whom they are trusting God for a touch in the hospital, those with a medical condition, with a health situation, and trusting God for divine healing. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus that they will be vindicated wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Yakura Dabo Satan. In that city where you are, nobody will poison you. In the mighty name of Jesus. No evil attack will prevail in your life. Mm. So by the special grace of God, there is a lot that is going on. And I'm grateful to God that you're receiving wisdom. You're receiving wisdom. Yes, receive your wisdom and make a difference. Yes, I've looked at people and I've seen the face of the earth and on that open heaven. I can tell that there are people who are trusting God for strength as we speak. Yes, 
Every time you blink your eye, there is somebody somewhere wishing. By the tinkle of that blink, they wish they could come out of their situation to praise God better. They just wish that there could be a touch over them. Yes. See, appreciate the life you have. Appreciate the life you have. Even if you don't have everything that pertains to, to your expectation. Appreciate God for the life you have. Be grateful for you. Be happy that you have tried and you are still trying your best to be a better person. Don't. Kalabashanta. Kalabashanta goza brata bushate. Jakwa kapariata bushata. So I've seen a lot of people who are really trusting God. I don't know. I feel very strong in my spirit to pray you. I'm seeing hospitals, but I can't tell the names because they are just passing like a flash. And there are people who are trying to invade hospitals and the intention is not for them to. The intention is not for them to be treated, but they are going like people who are sick, but they are going there for a mission. Yes, they are going to the hospital for a mission. I hear it very clear. They are going to hospitals for a mission. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Hospitals will not be invaded by, by evil powers. Oh God, oh Jesus. Kalaba Santa Koza Brate Kariata Boshata. Kalaba Shanta. I just saw I just saw something while we're praying. I saw I saw like an animal with a human face and I'm trying to see a face that is not completely human. It's like a mixed breed, it's like mixed breed. Yes, it's like a mixed breed. Yes. You see, the enemy is trying to, the world is trying to launch something and I pray that you will not be a victim in the name of Jesus. There are some powers about to manifest, but you will not be a victim in the name of Jesus. There is something I'm seeing, but we just have to pray. We just have to pray. There, is, there are some special people who are trying to mix some things. And then when they inject those things into people, people start, um, they start producing, there will be some special breed of, of release, a special breed of people that will be, that will be coming to this world. And then some people, in some people in some certain places in, in authority and power, they want to give free opportunity now that such people should be terminated. I know, I don't know how to explain this prophetic word, but we just have to pray. We need to pray for the nations. That God's will will prevail over the nations. Yes, I know you have a personal prayer. You really want us to pray about that. I just saw that while we're praying. That the enemy is trying to, the enemy is trying to initiate something. Yes, something like that. There is something I want to mix so that human beings can give birth to, to, to some things that some funny creatures that wants to look like mixed breed. And then so they can have legal right to kill because they want to cut down the population. For some reason, I don't know how that's going to be, but just to pray. So there are a lot of things that the enemy is trying to do. Yes, and I'm seeing, and I'm seeing. I'm seeing while we're praying, I saw a face appeared. I saw somebody with the person's mouth was a little bit large. It kind of looked like a lady's face. I will say, I will not say that um like um a female face appeared, but the mouth was a little bit large. But the hair just wants to look normal. But the face, the structure of it is not normal. The structure of it is falling. There's a lot of flesh. There's a lot of flesh on the face of the person. And so the people who want to terminate some people who have legal right, 
now to say that this is not human and this is not animal unless we said we are taking care of pets or this so it is good that we do mercy killing so they will start involving some like mercy killing mercy killing something like that and there is no need to panic but god has a reason why he has let us in this world so there are certain things we can pray and intercept yes there are a lot of things that i see probably i might not be able to share them on this channel that's why i got the the i got the the instruction to to have a channel that's different from this one i'm going to be releasing the prophecies and prayers there is going to be just to release what i'm seeing instant visions it will be more of a section where i come live and i speak things yes that is why it is important that wherever you are try to understand the assignment why god prays why god is still leaving you on earth here there is something you are living for there is something you are living for there is there is there are places that are preserved because you are there you carry God's presence irrespective of your struggle, irrespective of your battle, irrespective of what you're going through. God's faithfulness is still on you. God is still faithful. And that is why the enemy can, there's, there could be a lot of troubles around, but God vindicates you because you are a chosen person. And that's why there are a lot of things. Yes, there are a lot of things that the enemy will not prevail. I saw some, I saw a structure of a, of a being that, I mean, it's mixed. It's mixed. You can't tell if this and human being, these are animal. It's like they are experimenting something. Like they are experimenting something, and at the same time, they are trying to launch a campaign of something that has to get into people's system and corrupt the hormones of people. Something like that to corrupt the hormones of people, and that was very, 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 very serious. And the more somebody tries to take in. It's like the eggs are affected and the spermatos, everything, something like that, coming together. There is a mixed up. Something like that. There is a mixed up. So it's like there is a mixed up. So the enemy is trying to fight because there's an agenda they are trying to launch. They have not been able to get the people whom they want to destroy. But they want to initiate now a system that grows within the systems of the people and begin to corrupt. Begin to corrupt slowly. And that is why we have to be very prayerful. We have to live a life where we are not at the mercy of the enemy. We don't live a life where we are at the mercy of the enemy. We have to be very conscious of our spiritual journey. Yes, we have to be very, very, yes. Yes, we have to be very, very careful in Ephesians. The Bible makes us to understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but with principalities and power, wickedness in high places. There is wickedness in high places. And we have to be conscious of why we are still around. And that's why we have to be very careful to understand the purpose in which we are living here for. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to do is to meet up with the economic of the environment where you are. Just to make sure you keep... There is something higher than that trying to survive by the economic that's around you. Yes, there is something higher than trying to survive. So above all things, while we pray in this section... I don't know why I had to see that, but on normal on, on a normal base, I will not share such here. I'll just probably keep it to myself. When I get to church or pray with the church, I will make sure it doesn't come online. Reason is because we live in a time where what is serious, sometimes people don't like to take it serious. Yes. So, but I just want to let you know that wherever you are, always do well to always do well to be very spiritual, do well to stay connected. That is why some people, you realize that there are things you see in your dreams. You're wondering if you were just a friction of different things that you have encountered. Mm -hmm. I never let anybody tell you that your dreams were influenced by the things you were seeing or the movies you were watching. Not every dream is influenced by your environment. Not every dream is influenced by, by the movies you watch. Because there are days where you watch funny movies or you don't watch any movie at all and you are shocked to see. That there are some horrible things you see. And when the enemy begins to suggest to you that maybe it's because of these things you see, he's trying to translate a spiritual battle to look fleshly. Because when something is related to the flesh, that thing is a little bit minimized. That is why we have what we call the supernatural. 
the supernatural. There is a realm of the spirit. There is a realm of the supernatural. In the realm of the supernatural is the super existing among the natural. It means abnormality, but humanity has accepted it. When you see abnormality, Um, there, there is no dating app I can recommend, and I don't recommend any of those. Amen. I'm, 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 okay. Biru, I can explain to you. You can recall your dreams if you understand that when you wake up from a vision, when you wake up early in the morning, start your day with a short, either short worship or. At least, even if you cannot worship for long, worship at least for five minutes to ten minutes before you engage in your daily activity. What happens is that you are you are consciously connecting back your mind to what happened when you were subconscious when you begin to worship because there is a stirring of your spirit. Yes, there is a stirring of your spirit. Not every time you pray, you are talking to God. Not every prayer you pray, it is to God you are talking to. There are prayers you pray. That is why warfare, we are not shouting to God. Warfare, we are taking authority over a certain situation to exhibit God's authority that is upon us over that situation. Intercession is building defense, raising walls for suspected battles, it means you have not seen anything attacking you, but you are praying against what will come in advance. That is intercession. And then there is prayer of fellowship, which has nothing to do with commanding and shouting. Meditational prayer, that is you connecting with Elohim, talking with your Heavenly Father. You don't talk with your Father in the house by shouting. Yes, that's why we must understand the different patterns of prayer. You don't pray when you're talking to God is different. That is why Jesus showed us the pattern when we want to pray to God, when we are talking to God. You start by saying, our Father, you start by adoration. Nobody is giving adoration when there are serious battles. Yes. So it is time, there's a time when we worship God. So when we want to exhibit the power written in Luke 10, 19, or the power is in the Ephesians, so, because those are things God has given to us. The reason why he gave us that is so we can exhibit that, we can manifest that. So, we need to understand these things. So, when you wake up, before you start your day, it is important that you first release yourself. You release authority. You're going out and coming in. You are engaging what you want to see. I shall be favored today. You are declaring to yourself, I will be favored today. Not because God said so. I'll be favored today because God's... The, the thoughts of God towards me concern this day are thoughts of good, not of evil. It means by the reason of understanding, I know that I have to be favored today. I am not a victim. I'm victorious. So the moment you pray that short prayer, there is a possibility for what happened in the night period of your life to be flashed back to you. You may not have it fully, but you can have part of it. As you begin to ponder over it in meditation, because that's meditation now, what happens is that you begin to fully recall now everything. That is why you will get into a certain activity that you, before you know it, a part of the vision flashes now. And you are able to pick hold of it. That is why there are things that you see during the day. Because you probably did not stare up that part of you in the morning. You are like, I've seen this thing before. This thing had happened. I, don't, I can't tell where. Because you saw it in a vision and it was stored in your spirit. And since you did not pray from the place of your spirit. Because the Bible says in the book of John chapter 4, verse 24, it said, they that must worship should worship in truth and in spirit. If we are going to worship, we should worship in truth and in spirit. It means that there is a part of you where you stirred up your spirit. You stirred up your spirit to be sensitive. If you get to a place, you are not certain what is happening or somebody is trying to discuss business to you and you are not certain about the transaction and you are a spiritual person. What you should do is that you should leave that place, get to, get to the restroom, just make a short prayer there. Just try to pray. You are not saying, now the prayer you should pray is not, God, I take, I, I, I pray, oh Lord. No, just get into the prayer room and say, Lord, thank you for victory. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for victory. Thank you for sensitivity. As you are thanking God for sensitivity, you are awakening a certain consciousness that sees beyond. That a, sense, a certain sensitivity that sees beyond. That sees beyond. 
the person's suggestion. That is why you can hear what the business person or the person want to scam you. You can hear what the person is not saying with your mouth. Yes, that is why somebody can somebody can be telling you something, but your spirit is not agreeing with the thing. It is because your spirit was alert, your spirit was sensitive at that time to hear beyond sweet talk. That is why somebody can be telling you, "I want to marry," but what you are hearing is, "I want to break your heart." I want to pay you back. Somebody sent me to you. And you are not seeing, but all that is what is happening because why your spirit was alive. So that is what happened. That's how people are able to. And so that is a sensitivity. That is a sensitivity. That is a sensitivity. You have stirred up an atmosphere. Before you know, you look at the person for a few minutes and then you said, what did you just say? Then the person is trying to repeat the same thing, realize the statement is not straight again. The person is narrating a different story, then trying to pick one of few things he said, because that was not what the person intended to say. And that is how you that is how you are vindicated. Then you begin to find some fault in that particular thing, and then you're able to withdraw from it. Not because you are afraid. That's why some people, when they fall in love, they can't hear God. The only thing they can quote at the end is that if God, if, if this thing was not the will of God, why did why was I so attached? Why did I feel so much connection? Because you can feel things for people who don't feel the same for you. You can love people who don't have any sense of love. Bible said, "Love who you marry." Did not say that you marry who you you love. He said, "Husband, love your wife." He did not say, "Love your girlfriend." So I will not go beyond that because we are not in a marital uh, section in the name of Jesus. So there is an understanding. That dissentment, that signal, this way somebody is lying to you, you will know. Everybody is a cheap talk, you understand. Everybody is enjoying what the person is saying, but there is something within you rejecting it. Somebody is smiling so well around you and when you, you sit, you want to do something, your spirit is against the person. You are wondering what is happening because the person is not exactly what they presented themselves to be. Yes, Sister Claudia, that's very true. <laughs> yes, that's very true. So, so there are certain things that you will understand as time unfolds. Don't be in a haste. It is better to be slow and sure than to be fast to fall. It's better to be slow and you are sure than to be fast to fall. When we talk about the spirit, that your spirit is against a person, it means when you sit down and reflect on what the person said, you are not comfortable. You are not at peace. For instance, I came around and I said a lot of good things and I would just... I'm giving every reason why you sh when I leave, you should be happy. But immediately I walked away, or immediately, or maybe when you shift from me, the next time you are the next thing you're feeling is a strong sense of hate. And that is not normally you. You don't easily hate people. It means that that person, what that person is portraying, or that what that person is trying to um, um what that person is the kind of personality that person is trying to paint before people is not what the person is behind. So you have to deal with that person by your conviction, not based on the sweet talk. Because somebody can be telling you sweet talk, but their hearts are planning something else. It was Judas. It was Jesus who told Judas that you will betray the Son of Man today with a kiss. Yes. He said you will betray, you will betray the Son of Man today with a kiss. That was the prophecy that was given Judas. But when he looked at Peter, he said, the devil has desired to sift you. like with, He said, you will deny me three times. He said, I have prayed for you, Peter. That the enemy has desire to see. So Peter was saying, I am going to die with you today. But Jesus also saw, looked beyond, I am going to die with you. If there is need for me to die, I will die with you. He said, Peter, you will deny me three times. It means the possibility of dying with me is not there. You are going to deny me three times. So we must see people beyond what they are saying, beyond their confession. There are people confessing what they cannot stand for. There are people confessing things that they don't mean it. Yes. So by the reason for sensitivity, you should stay glue. Be sensitive in everything you are doing. Be focused. Yes. It is very, very important. I've seen a lot of people whom they, you, you're probably connecting with somebody and you are not aware that a person has some other person somewhere. 
That is why we pray. We inquire of the Lord. Father, this person who has come my way. It's just that sometimes it's difficult to hear God too. When you are praying to God with, with already fixed answer in your mind. You have heard the answer before you even started praying. You have already fixed what should be the answer. So when you're coming to God, you're coming to inform God. You're not coming to ask God's opinion. Because there's a difference between, um, Mommy, I've seen, I've seen two toys. One is this, one is this. Which is good for a child of my age? When a child asks you like that, would it be possible I get any of these toys? Which one is good? And another child comes and tells you, Oh, I saw some very nice toys. Don't worry, when I buy them and bring them home, you will like the toys. That's two different things. The one came to inform you. And the information was not, your opinion is not needed. You cannot object. One just came to inform you. And that's why we make the mistake. We should be mature enough to admit that we made mistakes and be ready to correct it. Because we live a life where when people make mistakes, they try to push it on God. They say, God has abandoned me. God has not abandoned you. If God abandoned you, the enemy will sweep. The enemy will sweep you in one second. The, you will not have the chance to regret in time. You will be regretting but in eternity. Yes, God has not abandoned you. You may not be hearing him because you have drifted from him. You don't longer take worship serious. You don't take, if you are honest with yourself, you will tell that you don't take your, your business with God serious. You have become totally too busy. Yes. And, 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 and what fellowship with God does not mean you have to fellowship with him for 10 hours for you to hear his voice. No. If you're, if you're committing your one hour, be involved. Be involved. See, let me tell you something. There is a possibility that if you're, I think this one, people who have been in relationships, serious relationships, don't understand what I'm about to say. No offense if you're not in a relationship, but I'm sure. There is a possibility that somebody can take you out on a date and the person spent five hours with you. And part of that five hours, the person was totally distracted, either watching at different people, watching at different people as they were entering the place, and then the person was partly on the phone and partly trying to talk one or two things, but the person was not making sense. And there's a possibility that somebody can spend 45 minutes with you in an enclosed environment, and then you people talk sense and talk things that people who spend six hours in an open environment, yet they could not plan any tangible thing about their lives. So it is, it's not really about time. It's about what you put in, in the little time you have. It's not. So if you spend five, if you spend 30 minutes, or you spend, for instance, you spend 15 minutes with God in the place of worship, uh, how was your heart involved? Or you're partly trying to off the alarm, or you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, you know, if you go and check, oh, who passed around my window there? Oh, come on. Oh, this neighbor. Are you coming to harvest my flower? Then you go this way, you know, you know, come by and say, Lord, sorry, I was trying to handle that, my neighbor who is stubborn. Okay, Lord, let us pray now. Um, Father, so you, you, you see, when you when everything is distracted, you, you cannot fully hold on to one thing. Yes. So it is possible to hear God. It is very possible to hear him. So there's a difference between going to inform him, I've seen a man I love, I've seen a woman I love, whatever comes out, just give me grace, let me marry this person, or let me marry this person and enjoy myself. Uh, I think time is not on my side anymore. And God is, okay, since you give time to yourself, let's see how far it goes. And then he said, make your choice. And then for some reason, God comes in the middle of the pain and then he says, my grace is sufficient. Because sometimes when he does not deliver, he gives you grace. Grace to endure. To persevere in it. Yes. Because there are certain things you must learn before you walk away. You will have to learn. Because if you don't learn, it will be the same call again. You will call again for that same thing. Yes. That is why they will always ask you for working experience. Do you have a working experience before we can take you for this job? Because working experience guarantees us that you, you will give us space to focus on our own job while you focus on your own. When there is no experience, we know we have to be we have to be focused on you and focus on our own job. It means we'll be doing two jobs because we are trying to teach you your own job again because you don't have experience. So what I'm trying to teach you is that there is a possibility that a lot of things can be adjusted. So it's not how long. So when you wake up, take time and pray to God. Find that there are some people who used to have very powerful dreams, powerful visions, but a lot of sudden, like everything faded away. When you drift from God, be, be mature enough to admit that you have drifted. This thing is not a religious thing. But if you have principles, you will maintain them. 
Don't do things anyhow. Learn to be a person who has principles and you have a way you walk. It will, it, it will be revealed in many things in your life. It will be seen in many different things in your life. Yes. So the, the grace of God, the grace of God, it's made manifest over us all. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your relationship, there is somebody here, there is somebody here, your relationship with God is restored. Then your relationship with God is restored. Your relationship with God is restored in the mighty name of Jesus. That is my prayer, that your relationship with God be restored. Whatever holds you away from God's presence, that you may find yourself back in His presence. You may find yourself back focused in His presence in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm sorry. Um... I mistakenly uh, touched something. I don't know what I touched. But I'm sure I've touched something. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, okay. Yes, please like the video. Please like the video. Like the video. If you can share, share the video. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay, your mother, okay, they say you talk in your dream. Okay. Um it's not much of a video spiritual, too much of a spiritual thing. It could just simply mean that maybe you've worked so much and or you think a lot during the day. All through before even you went to bed, and there are a lot of things you needed to air out, or maybe you needed to handle. And then, because of your sleep, you probably talk because the process continues still. And that was it. Okay, a child. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay. Yeah, it is normal. Sometimes it's sponsored by tiredness. Things that can be can be possible. Yes. But after a while, it will not be consistent sometimes. Sometimes it will not be like that. Yes. Vero, I'm trying to answer your... Yes, your question. Yeah. Yes, okay. Hmm... So, so, so there are a lot of things that if you understand them, you realize that the reason I was trying to explain something about the supernatural, talking about the things, about the realms of the spirit, the realm of the spirit, the supernatural, and then I was trying to explain that we have the basic three levels that anybody who wants to pray, who is confused or what prayer is more about. You can learn these three. We have warfare, intercessory prayers, you have meditational prayers. You are either on warfare, intercessory prayer, or meditational prayer. Meditational prayers are things where you can put in your supplications, make your request known, your fellowship with God. Lord, Lord, I want to know you more. God, I just want to know your ways. I want to grow in your wisdom. I want to do your biddings. I want to do what you want me to do. And that is it. That prayer is, there's no casting of any devil. There's no casting of this. You are more of fellowship with God. Father, teach me your ways. You speak and you listen. You don't just pray and go. Once you are granted, once you have released your request, you just speak your back. You said, I think I'm done. And then you go. So there's a part where you pray and you listen to God. To, to... I don't know now if saying that hearing yeah, God, it will be very broad for somebody to understand it. But what I'll say is that listening to what God has to say, yes, sometimes He will drop His word in your spirit. Okay, Jesus is the only God I know. Jesus is the only God I know. So there's not there's no practice of any voodoo anyway. 
that's why um, some of the questions you, you were asking, I didn't focus on them because um, it appears that um, you probably will not really understand much about Christianity. You can't do Jesus and do other things. You can follow Jesus and follow other things, follow other things. So you just have to be focused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lioness of Judah, God bless you in Jesus' name. So, so try to walk back on your relationship with God. And then there's also a period in our life where we really want to build our relationship with God. But until we admit, we might not really see the result. Okay. I can teach you, Agape, but it will not be on this section. I can teach you. You can write me on my email. I'll teach you so that um, we don't mix some um, <clears throat> level 12 with level 2 at the same time. You know? So I'll, if I have to teach you, I'll teach you. You can write me on my email. I'm going to teach you. Yes. Okay, for you to find a wife, you have to find purpose. Yes, it will help you understand the wife. Amen. <laughs> yes, I do mentoring, Helen. I do mentoring. We are mentor. We have mentoring program which is coming up this November. So people are probably trying to sign up. Okay, to so pray for, okay. Yes, um, okay, I'll pray for you, I'll pray for you. What you're asking for is, is, is a staring, it's a staring. <laughs> Amen. I pray that that attack will not stand in Jesus' mighty name. With your prayers, I believe that the attack will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, 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 in everything you are experiencing, okay, let me stay focused now. Okay, let me just be focused. Amen. Okay, let me give this one now. Let me give this. I explained something about the supernatural. I explained something about the supernatural. I know when you hear the word about the supernatural, sometimes it will come in your mind that there are a lot of things. But um, it is super accepted in the natural. It means that it is super that has a um, partnership with natural. It means that there are supernatural things that there are super things that we accept in the natural. For instance, um we can see somebody operating in the gift of prophecy. That is a super gift, but it is operating through the instrument of a natural person because it is scriptural for it to flow. Yes, it means that it is not very scary among humans. But the realm of the spirit is not a realm for humans. It's not a realm for the flesh. It's a realm for spirit. It's a realm just for spirit. And that is how it is. And there are people, it means if you have to get into that realm, you will only operate in that realm, but as a spirit. You cannot operate in that realm as a human. And the progress of that, you cannot say somebody hurt your feelings. And that is why you are grieved. And so, so you can, somebody hurt your feelings, that's why you cannot be, you cannot operate in this realm today. No, that should not be the excuse. So, so if you're somebody who wants to walk in that dimension, you must understand. So, so, so the dimension of um, um, testimony you are about to, to receive, for instance, it, it will be more of you being focused. In your meditational prayer, what are the kind of prayers you pray? In your warfare prayer, what are the kind of prayers you pray? In your intercessory prayer, what are the kind of prayers you pray? So intercessory prayer is more of people. It's not more about you. It's more about others. You put others and pray. You involve others in that prayer. The Bible said when Job prayed for others, he God turned his own captivity. And the Bible says that when God turned the captivity of Zion, they were like men that dreamt and their mouth were filled with laughter. 
So there's a period in your life where you just try your best to pray for others. You try your best to pray for others. Yes. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord light up the eyes of your understanding. May the Lord enlighten the eyes of your understanding in the name of Jesus. May the eyes of your understanding be open in the name of Jesus. I pray that let God's grace and goodness be made manifest over your life. I pray for the blessings of God. For the blessings of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for the blessings of God upon your life in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus. All-round blessings. All round of settlement. Hallelujah. So there are a lot of things that God has given you. And by the special grace of God, you also need to be encouraged. When you feel discouraged, you just need to try to be. Yes. Yes, so you just have to focus. Focus to see that you are encouraged because they appear to your life or you feel down. Yes, new level comes, a new attack, new devils and new manipulators and new, I mean, distraction from left and right. And then you get to begin to face things that we are not supposed to face them. So one thing you must learn is that you must always try to connect with someone who will be able to encourage you, coach you within that season, coach you to overcome. Because one of the, one good thing about mentoring is that mentoring prepares you for the days ahead. It prepares you for the battles ahead. It prepares you to overcome every challenge that's ahead of you. And that is it. It prepares you to be a champion, to be a winner. Battles are coming, but you will be a winner because you cannot be crowned a winner if there is no battle. Yes. So one good thing is that mentor mentorship helps you to find that strength that is within you and put it into use and put into use yes such as when we get into scriptures there are people who want to study scriptures every day they really want to study every day they want to know how to go about certain things every day and then for some reason they don't actually know what exactly to study when they start reading the bible they realize they are a little bit lost somebody just feel like okay i read from genesis to exodus and i i don't really know what exactly to hold on to right now i don't know what i should be holding on to so what happens? It's not because you were not reading by the Bible. When you want to study, there's a pattern in which you can study. And that's what I can teach those who are, who are, who are mentoring. Because you are giving a... You, you, there's, there's a way to go about it. Um... Okay, ask your question back, man. Dero, Dero, please ask your question back. The question, the I think there's a misplacement of some, yeah, some details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, attacks will come, yes, but it's good to stay focused. Attacks will come, it's good to stay focused. Destruction will come, but stay focused. Yes, stay focused and you'll see the results. Stay focused and you'll be amazed at what will begin to happen. Yes. So God's grace and, good, and goodness will be made manifest over your life. I believe in the hand of God upon you. I believe in the hand of God upon you. And I know that a lot is going to change. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I see. Oh, thank you. That's wise. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. I'll check that. Yeah, that's wise. So please, that's the importance of mentorship. That's the importance of mentorship. Mentorship prepares you for challenges. It prepares you for the period where you don't feel like. Yes. Mentorship helps you. Mentorship helps you to, to overcome the diverse challenges, the troubles, the things that the enemy is trying to frustrate you with in the name of Jesus. So I just want to pray for you 
and that in this season as God keeps on strong focus, may you see your victory, may you see your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. To every one of you who wants mentorship, who wants me to help you in any form, in any way, in a way of the things of the kingdom, you want me to teach you, you believe that I can mentor you and lead you, you can get to me on my email, write me, email me and I'm going to speak to you. And I'm, I believe that I'm going to give you structure and we'll be able to make out a proper program so I can prepare you before you join the, the program we are going to be having in, in, in November this year. And so you can be able to join the online program which we are going to be having in November. It's a program that we are teaching and training um, giving people clear understanding on certain things that have to do with, with God's um, um, a prophecy and promise over their lives and bringing them to the consciousness of, of their own divine purpose. And that is it. So by the Spirit of grace of God, um, this program is going to be a great blessing to you. It's going to be a great blessing to you. Yes, it's going to be a great blessing. And I believe that by the grace of God, so many things are going to change. And I know that you will testify in this season in Jesus' mighty name. You are lifted and you are blessed. Yes, you are lifted and you are blessed. Um, God permit, I will come live shortly again because I had a word I wanted to share, but I don't I don't just want to mix it in this section. I don't want to be this word that I've been given. And please um, get ready. We are going to be having a section where um, I had a lady in my spirit to work on a particular separate um, channel which has to do with um. um I'm um, praying for a particular um, um, set of people whom I've been commissioned to pray for. Yes, and I'm commissioned to come every day. It's, an, it's a different assignment just given to me. I have to come every day and pray with at least. So I, I have to just be persistent. All these days I've been praying by instructions and I didn't know what was going on until I received the word that there is a particular, particular amount group of persons i need to be praying for persistently i don't know if that channel is going to last for one year or two years because i don't know how long the prayer is going to be but i am hoping that i'll be able to give myself in to pray because i'll soon work on how it should be i'm still praying about it for more clarity what god want me to do about it and we are equally working on the studio where i'm going to be praying because i have other men of god that are going to be joining me women of god as instructed yes from the church team to join me so we are still working on it i'm still hoping for more clarity so when the time is right and ready i'm going to share with some of you but for those who need mentorship you need coaching you can get to me i believe i'm going to help you yes email me and i'm going to speak to you and god bless you in jesus mighty name amen 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 i believe you will guide my steps Yes, I believe. Thank you so much. God bless every one of you. Get ready. Get ready. Something powerful is coming. And you will testify. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May God bless you financially. And then God bless you for the offering you gave. I don't know if I appreciated it, but I just want to appreciate you. Thank you for blessing this particular section. I saw the offering you sent, though you didn't send, you didn't explain the purpose of why you gave it. I'm sure that was super chat or maybe super tan. Or I don't know. Maybe one of them, super something. Now they call most of those things. May the Lord increase you, Helen. May the Lord bless you. Cause face shine upon you. I pray that the devourer will not see your finances in this season. The devourer will not fight you in the aspect of your finances. You will be victorious in the name of Jesus. May you be strengthened in this season and may you be favored. Yes, that Claudia you can ask the question. Claudia you can ask a question. Claudia, you say you have a question. Yes, so I believe, I believe every one of you is part of the family. Please just keep praying for me. Keep praying for God to give me strength. 
God to give me strength to be able to stay um, connected. I have a lot of different prayer sessions. I have to engage, pray here and there. And how do you encourage your spouse? Okay, you you could probably just begin by sharing a scripture. If it's a scriptural person, the person will enjoy it. And the good thing is that with most things, you it is always good to suggest men will not normally not like things to be imposed on them. Yes, um, you can just share revelation. You see, there's another way to catch someone's attention that you believe in. You can just tell let the person know that there is scripture you learn something, you study, you learn something from, and you like to share with the person. Anyway, I'll tell you that on WhatsApp. Yes, I'll send you, I'll explain that to you on WhatsApp. But let me just give a general view here, but I'll tell you what you have to do because you ask. Okay. In that case, what you should do is that um, when you study a scripture, when you read a scripture and you believe that is life, don't, don't just forward scripture to people. When you forward scripture to people, or you just forward a scripture to a person, the person begins to assume that you think they are not reading their Bible. That's what some people think. That's what some people think. They think that way. So you're assuming that they don't know God. It's probably when they're getting it wrong. But when you study a scripture, you Of my soup. Oh, sorry. It's not soup. Uh, tea. I'm sure that should be it. I don't know those lines. And then, instead of ending it, we just, I love you, I love you, I know. You said, please, I'll just like us, just pray that God will give me grace to be a good partner to you. I read something from scripture. When you suggest things that suggests to the heart of the person that you want to put your best more in the relationship. A person will not be a devil to refuse. No. A person will give it a try. So, one, two, three times, the person will get used to. Today, it happens tomorrow. I pray that I understand you. Let us pray with this scripture. I believe that if we are going to work more together, now your scriptures must go alongside what you're trying to suggest. For instance, okay, your your... You people's expectation, obviously, in the relationship now is what? Understanding. The Bible says in Timothy, He has not given us a spirit unto fear, but a spirit of. No, then, He has not given us a spirit of fear, nor timidity, but He has given us a spirit of love, self control, bonus. So, I pray that I will be able. I just want us to pray. So, you suggest a scripture, you people read that scripture, because there will, there will be no prayer if there is no scripture to read. So, that scripture now becomes now, that's how the scripture comes in. Because you said you wanted us to pray and end this section of discussion with prayer. I said, this, there's a scripture, I'd just like you to just have it there. If she, if the person opens it from that direction, since you're in the scripture, please just help me read. The person can read the scripture. You realize that the person reading the scripture now to you, put to pray over it, it has entered that person's spirit. I don't even if I'm making sense to you, good, yeah. making sense may god bless you so that's what happens but not all relationships are the same it's because i know your own and i understand how it works and i know what works i'm not saying i've seen your spouse no i'm just saying that i can easily understand what will work yeah so suggest it that way you're believing god for understanding but i would say my people perish for lack of knowledge so you now said the scripture you now said okay but well, i want god to give me the knowledge so that i'm understanding that we both understand what we need to do Yes, what we both need to do. Now, you have not made it look like it is for him. You are giving the scripture because you know he's down. No, you, you first have to take yourself low for you to, for your suggestion, for your opinion to be humble. Once you take yourself low, your suggestion is not a humble suggestion. So you take yourself low by making it look like you too. You are also trusting God for deeper understanding. 
I want to know my assignment. I don't want to talk where I should not talk. Yes, so those are the very simple things that builds it very good. Yes, it builds it. It makes it very entertaining. Even somebody who does not like, who does not really know scripture and many things, they will begin to find interest in it. Yes. Because this word keeps making you understand your place. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something to you people who are connected to people. Sometimes God gives us an allowance to, to when people newly come into our lives. We have good things we could show them. We don't show them those things. We allow them when they have lent us to be something else and that's when we are trying to change them. It will only be a, it will only be a miracle. Then it will take by the miracle. Yes. When you get when you get close to me, I have the right to tell you my principles, what works for me. But I can let you know that okay, I can adjust for the sake of this. But we allow the people know us for different things and know us for different things. Then when is I'm not saying that that's what happens to everybody, but that's how some people operate. They know us for different things, and then when we have lasted two, three years, and then we just want to suddenly let them know now that okay, now as you see. Looking at me like this, um, you're looking at a sister, so and so, brother, so and so, and you just want things to change. You know, somebody has learned a particular version of you for three years. You will, it will not take one day for you to raise it. You will need to give yourself, even if it's three months, you will need to give yourself some time back for him to unlearn what he has learned or for her to unlearn what she has learned about you. And that's how you can make changes. So that's just my... For those I meant to have a better way of explain this to them. I'm just trying to talk because I know we have different cultures involved in this section. We have different ways they approach things. Yes. There are cultures where you love a man, you will walk up to the man and tell the man you love him. There are cultures where you love a man. As a woman, you will not say anything. It's better that feeling you suppress it and walk away. And then, so there are different, different cultures. And nobody's own is better than somebody's own. And nobody's own is looking more richer than any other person's own. We just have different cultures that we are built with. And that is because of the interest we have at hand. The interest that that relationship is expecting. Or that particular group of people expect from whoever they connect with. And that's what I would say. So I'll just give this brief, um, brief explanation so that every other person can see how to fit in. God bless you and God increase in Jesus. Name. Thank you so much. The Lord increase you. Amen. That's my time for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.